Well, some hot weather is on the way to the Contour Valley, but some of us could get a shower or two tomorrow. Let's look at it and see exactly what we can expect. Weather headlines, let's turn up the heat a little bit all the way up to the triple digits with slight chances of showers. Coming into Friday, bringing us some relief for some of us. Right now, I'll show you some activity that Western Crockett County is getting on. Return of the low 100s with ways to stay cool, all that and more to keep you ahead of what's up coming for the next couple of days here. Today, we reached 98 degrees, definitely well above average, 10 degrees above 88 where we're supposed to be this morning. We're at 71 degrees, another well above average morning. Across the Lone Star State, it's pretty much quiet. Temperatures in the 80s, sitting warm and mild across much of the area, a little cooler in the panhandle where well, they were seeing some showers and storms earlier thanks to that dry line and approaching cold front. That's going to kind of kick off our action tomorrow. But tonight, as we go into the overnight hours, expect to slowly climb downward for temperatures into the 70s. Probably won't even get past the low 70s for overnight lows. And all the active weather is up there in Minnesota into the Dakotas. They're seeing some really strong storms there. I've been seeing it through the plains, Nebraska, Kansas, into Iowa as well. Severe weather there. Even picking on some action here. Low pressure system off the East Coast, bringing up some showers into the Carolina and Georgia and Florida region. This cold front and dry line, this is going to be our main factor. Already seeing storms form along it, along Nebraska and Kansas. We'll be watching that going into the next couple of days. And right now, Texas is pretty tired, quiet, but we are picking up a little more moisture for Crockett County where they're getting some active showers along that frontal boundary. Looking across the area right now, seeing pretty much temperatures in the 80s. Still 94 degrees in Robley. Some of us a little warmer. Northern counties, I wouldn't be surprised if tomorrow if they get in their triple digits because they've been ranging a little warmer than everyone else across the Conjo Valley. But severe weather outlook, we can expect this. We'll be in the first category. Overall, this light, the lowest category we can be in where we can see impacts. Mainly hail being one of them, gusty winds with damaging winds over 70 miles per hour is problematic. Also seeing some daily lightning with these storms. Very quick, spin up fast, and then move out of the region. Most of us will be dry, but we'll be dry into the weekend as well as temperatures start to climb into the triple digits for next week. But if you're going out to the pool Saturday, maybe best to go in the 9 o'clock hour. You may not want to get up that early, but view V index is going to be very high, so always remember to apply your sunscreen when you go. And every hour, read the instructions. Make sure you keep that handy as you go out to the pool. But high weather is in the forecast Saturday into Sunday. Look at triple digits. Most of the moisture is staying well off to the east. Getting back to near 102, possibly Monday and Sunday, getting back into the low 100s and watching that being the same factor. Going into the rest of the week, looking like a hot week across the Panhandle, across the Lone Star State, where most of the moisture is staying best for the eastern Texas. So with all that being said, drink it, plenty of water. Remember to look before you lock. Make sure you don't leave your loved ones in the back seat. Wear all what you need, sunglasses, hats, all of that will help keep you protected from the sun and keep your skin from being exposed to deadly UV rays. But tonight, as we go into tomorrow, temperatures will climb out of the low 70s into the 90s. But overall tonight, it's just going to be a mild night. Winds are slacking a little bit, so we could drop a little couple degrees lower into the low 70s. But overall, nothing too big going into the next five days. Well, we continue to see the heat turn on for us. I mean, the heat starts to come in full effect, not even in June yet, but overall, if we find a good ways to beat the heat, like taking kids out to the pool, just remember your safety, pool safety, and also your heat safety tips. Enjoy yourself tomorrow. Definitely not a widespread rain event, but definitely some well needed for those areas that do see it, with temperatures continuing to be a factor in the hundreds into next week. We'll be back right after this.